I'm going to probably get emotional talking about this, but I'm curious if you can explain how you all were able to handle your husband's passing in such a, a beautiful, honest way. His illness was 10 years long. So I was his caregiver for a decade. And so by the time we got toward the end of life, when it was very clear that there were no more treatments, clinical trials, those things were not available to us. I had women in my life who were young widows and older widows, and they were whispering things in my ear, right? That I sometimes was not ready to hear. And at other times I thought, if you've done this, you're the only person in my life who knows what I'm going through. So I'm just going to do what you tell me to do. It was so frustrating when you weren't getting a straight answer and you had all those doctors kind of coming in and out. And you Did you really chase a doctor into the parking lot? I had to pull you know, out the information and say, what is actually happening? You know, and I, I often, I said to doctors, talk to me, tell me what you would tell your own daughter. What would you tell your daughter? What would you want her to do with her husband right now? Can you just talk to me like that? And, and that often invited a human moment in. Lena, you have a cancer we cannot cure. And your liver is failing. And that's often when I got the most information. And I say that only because we know our caregivers, our doctors, our nurses, everyone is so full, especially now post the pandemic. And so sometimes just cutting through human to human is can be can offer a life changing conversation. And that was a life changing conversation that that doctor was willing to have with me. And I'm so grateful for that honesty.